guys, it's the Unknown Hawk 123 and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you guys why it's going to be important for you to support MX vs ATV Supercross. While the feedback for this game has been pretty good, there is a majority of people complaining about it. You know, people say there isn't enough customization items and that the preload is useless and the rider looks floaty and the physics look bad, you don't even look connected to the track. Some of that may be true. But to be honest, none of this matters. We, the fans, are even lucky that Nordic Games picked up the franchise and decided to continue it. Many people grew up on MX vs. ATV. Some people believe it's home turf for the motocross video game genre. Games like MUD and MXGP aren't the same. Now let's say MX vs. ATV Supercross launches and the sales are bad. Nordic Games makes little money off of it. A little time passes after MX vs. ATV Supercross launches and Nordic Games wants to make a new game. They open their wallet and they see it's empty. They have no funds for a new MX vs. ATV game. If that happens, there's a good chance that the franchise can be discontinued. A company can't make a new game without any money. If you want a new motocross video game on next gen with amazing graphics, all the pro riders, tons of tracks, and a lot of game options, People have to buy the previous game so the company can work its way up and implement those things with the money they've earned. I mean, look, the game's only going to be $30. You can't go wrong with that. That's already cutting the original price of a game right in half. You're going to get 17 tracks. You're going to get pro riders, new gear monthly, OEM bikes updated yearly, DLC tracks. I mean, you can't ask for more out of this game. I mean, yeah, it looks like MX vs. ATV Alive. It's not going to feel like Alive. The team at Nordic Games has already confirmed that they are changing Supercross's physics to be more like Reflex. Plus, the release of this game is a couple months away from this video, so the physics can still change. So the bottom line is, go to your store on September 9th and buy the game to support it. If it sells well, I think that we'll see that Nordic Games will continue the franchise and make it even better. That's my opinion on that, guys. So this is the Motorsport inside look for MX vs. ATV Supercross. I'm going to let the rest of the video play. So thank you guys for watching. You all have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.
Yeah.